The Sierra Foothill League is looking strong as always. Our second SunPower Electric game tonight features two league title contenders, both Del Oro and Rockland winning their league openers last week. The Golden Eagles come into the week undefeated at 6-0. Rockland is the defending champ. Coming into the week with a 5-1 season record, the two meeting in our SunPower Electric game, our Brian Mueller was there. Game. Robert and Aubrey, only the second league game of the season, but already the regular season home finale for Del Oro. You can see the senior night activities going on behind me. Now this Del Oro Rockland rivalry has gone back and forth over the years, but you know the Golden Eagles will be looking for some revenge after dropping last year's game 38 to 3. But this is a different Del Oro defense. They haven't given up 38 points in the last three games. Akio Martinson leads the team with five and a half sacks and seven tackles for loss. As for Rockland, the lightning rod for the Thunder offense is senior Elias Brown with a team leading 740 yards on the ground. Here's a Sun Power electric game first. The game ball is delivered on a helicopter. It was all in honor of Officer Matt Redding, a former Rockland police officer and Del Oro alum who was killed in the line of duty by a drunk driver. They continue to honor Officer Redding by playing for the Matt Redding Trophy. We'll pick up the game in the first quarter, no score. Caden Pinnock has all kinds of time, finally unleashes a deep ball to Aaron Unfried and no one will catch him, an 85-yard TD, and it's seven to nothing. Second quarter now, Pinnock back to work, airs out another one, this time to Tommy Poe, and Poe pulls it in. The Golden Eagles up 14 to nothing. Del Oro looking for one more score before the half. Pinnock, looking like Patrick Mahomes here, just flips this to Jagger French, and he can saunter in for the score, and the Golden Eagles lead 20 to nothing at the break. But Rockland came out with a new game plan in the second half, and it was to run the rock. Mason Silva goes right up the middle for the score. That makes it 20 to 7. Final minute of the quarter, and the Thunder just keep grinding on the ground. Hi, yo, Silva. Here he is again, takes it all the way down inside the 10. Then Eli Hardy finishes off the drive on the jet sweep, finds the corner, and the Thunder are down just seven going into the fourth. Rockland alum and San Francisco Giants pitcher Logan Webb is loving it. But the Golden Eagles have a guy with a pretty good arm. Pinnock evades the rush, buys some time, and hits Poe just short of the end zone. A couple plays later, Pinnock finishes off the drive himself, 27-13. And the Golden Eagles go on to win it 33-20. They are 7-0. It's definitely a big step for us, but everyone knows the uh, greater goal, which is to get a state playoffs and all that. So we really every week is 24 hour rule. We keep it moving and on to next week. Reporting in Loomis for the Sun Power Electric game, Brian Mueller, 49ers Sack High Sports.